And yeah, anything that requires you to be... Any missions that are asking you to, to be off Citadel require you to progress further. So oh, that you Chorus can... Den is here. Yeah. Might as well. Sure. All right, the dancers are back. Tally's seeing them for the first time. Yeah. Dancers are highly respected among my people, <laughs> but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. Well, what makes you say that? Well, yeah, like. <laughs> I love this place. The crowds, the action. It's great. I could get used to living like this. A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. I love all this right, place, all right. the crowds, the action, it's great. I would say that they're held in temporarily high esteem. Is the, is the vibe that uh, I got seems to be. Here, but not with you. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Oh my god! I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Dove girl. <laughs> I won't pull out my gun this time. Rex is just like, whatever, man. <laughs> like you, you solve this shit your own way. Tell Rita, your sister is a bitch, Rita. <laughs> Trying to help her. Yeah, by being a jerk. God. Not now. I'm watching the show. You've been here for like. Oh, wow. That's not the same guy, you fucking spacist. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I, I thought you were another friend of mine. Shit. Gosh. All right, all right. Okay, where to now? We went to Chorus then. We were looking for the wards. Can they be... Upper wards? Um... For, uh, for which? Oh, for the signal, yes. Uh, yes. Corazon is the lower access corridor. Uh, Corazon is the lower. The doctor stuff is upper. Uh, the access corridor uh, would be before that. This is towards where you fought um, Fist. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you gotta exit from the the front entrance. So, the, the, the so like you, you the, that, yeah, that yeah. that back office was a dead end where you where you took care of business. Uh -huh. But uh, the exit's this way. Thank you. Oh. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Smooth. Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Hey, I'm not an FNG. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. I'm a freaking Spectre, man. Anyway. I'll give him back that shove next time I see him. What was that you whispered? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, I was huh? just, uh, uh, smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meet him at the CSEC now. But I could go see Rita anyway, no? No? Fuck that. That changed. Go see the dude at the CSEC. 
You think Rita still has something to say? Oh, yeah, the, the, the quest is updated. Yeah. So, upper wards. And upper wards should connect with the lower wards, maybe? Do they? Uh, you gotta. Unless I'm already in the lower wards, I need to find the dude inside the corridor around here, then. Well, if he said to meet him at CSEC, then you, you want to go back to uh, Main Citadel area and then down the stairs towards the academy where, where Rex was hanging yeah, out. Yeah, because we're not going. What, but the signal tracking, though. Access corridor? Yeah, the wards access corridor. All right, we'll walk out. And right now I'm near the wards, right? You are? Uh, but... Um, Let's see what are your what are your branch options from the So this goes to lower markets. And this Check the map. Now I'm in the upper wards. If I go back down. Get out of the way, boys. Uh okay, lower markets, that's that first one above your cursor is going where? Upper wards, that one is Citadel Rapid Transit. And we have to go talk to this guy. Yeah, we had a quest with him, right? Uh, which, who are you talking Moreland? about? Moreland? Hello there, welcome okay. to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? I mean, you could literally hear the voice over the comm when he was talking to her. Like, yeah, we, we, we know what race you are. Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Lockouts. <laughs> What's this? Lockouts. Uh, uh. Okay, so this is... Options tame, denied. Tame. <laughs> this is tame, tame, and this is... This is the path that has been chosen. The carpet has rolled out in the direction you've kicked it. Yeah. Um, if I go with this, I can come back to this after, right? Uh, right. No? Y not, everything not everything is the thing. Is thing. Well, I did promise something to the doctor. I said that she wouldn't have to do it. Assume with the anymore. path you pick is uh, the path you pick, and if you get more information, sometimes you come back around, but don't always, don't always assume that's going to be the case. Okay, then... We're going down the red path. The red shepherd path. Her secret stays buried. Or I bury you. Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. Bitch. This is way more than I bargained for. Yeah. Shadow counter. It is good to see him humbled, so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. <laughs> I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. All right, then. Goodbye. What do you know yes, about Baines? Right, then. Good tidings to you, human. Renegade plus nine. Lock out. Take a look. Take a look. You haven't been there in a minute. Where is it at? Bam. Plus nine, plus nine, plus two. There it is. Looking good. Okay. I'm a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, what happened with this? The blackmailer is dealt with. Talk to Dr. Michelle at the med clinic in the upper wards and let her know she's safe again. Okay. Jesus, a lot of stuff. Med clinic, the ward access corridor. Um, go back to your go back to your stat screen. You have more intimidation points. Yes. Then more renegade and paragon, right? No, no, no. Oh, uh, here. Into, you can now go further down the line of intimidation. Oh! And you can unlock motivated buyer. Intimidate score at 8. 
opens up new dialogue options, sells items to store for 5% more credit. And you do have more charm as well. But that this is where you start to see the difference between them. Uh-huh. Also have my Spectre training to think of. Okay. Uh, where was I going? Only one exit, right? Uh, yeah, so the elevator between the two uh, is what you're going to be looking for for the, the signal stuff, and then there's, of course, the academy. Um, so... Uh, is it through here? Give it a shot. Oh, we fought here. Yeah, that's where Tali was. Early way. I'm gonna go all the way. Presidium, Flux, CSEC Academy, Lower Markets, Rapid Transit to Lower Wards. Yeah, so you are. And the med clinic. All right. Well, the doctor's there. Yeah, you're looking for a, um, the elevator uh, from wards up to the presidium, and uh, I believe there would be an exclamation mark on it. Okay. Um, well, do you want to go see the doctor? Since we're not too far, and there's an exclamation mark on her. I mean. That's your call? Yeah. Spectre. <laughs> I do what I want. Run. Though a lot of this stuff, too, um, admittedly, is also like, you know, anytime you... you, 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 you the, basically, yeah, you can finish up these whatever you want to type of things. So. Okay. How did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. What about your captain? We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, do they nice change thought. inventory? Um... Yes, Commander. I think I can so. You? Let me take a look but at I don't think... Course. I don't think she would have already. Okay. Well, I could afford this, but this is 500. I used to go around with like a thousand credits for a while. Oh, well, you're a little bit richer now. Okay. Just this one. All right, thank you, Chloe. Unless you have more personal things to tell me. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. Nope. My I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the I'll be military. going now. Goodbye, Commander. Peace. Nice talking to you. Oh! It's back? So there's a replenish to it, but okay. you can grab one at a time. Alright, so... Getting sidetracked a million times. Mm-hmm. C-Sec Academy is down there. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Officer Lang, got anything to say? Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say right. Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Useless. Entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. 
The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. <laughs> Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Dramatically, there is something rotten in the state of Denmark. That's where we're going, right? Uh, you're going. You're going for. Uh, uh, yeah, well, academy, right? So, exclamation mark! All right. So, after bath here. Could you imagine an uh, 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 an alien race handing humans a play and a and making them do it? <laughs> Wild shit. Weird. Computer console description skill too low. That's a new message. Too dumb. Damn. All right then. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. <laughs> you could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? <gasps> All right. What do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Yeah, you can't keep the peace if they can fight back, I guess. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear Persuade. Than you can say bad bust. Okay. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Commander, been to see Jax yet? I'll get to it soon. Good. Don't keep Jax waiting too long. Okay. Hello, Commander. You're so useless. How about you? Nothing to say? So the situation was a little more complicated than it seemed. I can't even talk to my partners anymore. Okay. So. Uh, Charlie wants you to pick up a weapons shipment from the arms dealer in the lower wards market. Don't cause any trouble. Let's go to the main quest in the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. I guess that counts as central. Um, there we go. Yeah, good. Just made a few uh, adjustments to the uh, to the set. <laughs> no, it's a docking bay. It's a presidium. Does that count? 
Uh, yeah. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. We reluctantly recognize that you guys kicked a lot of ass. The Citadel Tower. <laughs> Towards the Academy. See how effective the Krogans can be once we put <laughs> once we put the equivalent of a cock cage on your entire species. See how effective. That does a job. Well done, well done, soldiers. Oh yeah, and there here's your medal. <laughs> things in the concert chamber, right? Fuck. <sighs> uh, maybe we could pass by the concert chamber real quick. You can go to the concert chambers for some new content. Yeah. Alright, so up this and behind? No, it's in front. You know what, excuse me. That was that was after the Rakdai Wars, not before. Fair, very true. Would you like some directions? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah, head to the head to the consort. You can get some uh, some new stuff going on over there. Uh, head back, and then after that, you can go back down to see Rita and see how that updates. Um, and then uh, you also, uh, I mean, the signal stuff could be done, but you can also just progress. Yeah. Ah, it interrupts and the dialogue. Okay. Unfortunately. And you can uh, head over to the uh, Krogan statue. Nelina. Hello. I like your dress. It's Welcome. The I A Nelina. button is the one you're looking for. I don't recognize <laughs> you as one of our expected clients today. Yeah, I was just looking Would at the like dress. See when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. What are the I'd needs? Like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. What? <laughs> Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? All right. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the 
unusual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Damn, dude. You, you look like your balls just went Paragon. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to keep them blue. <laughs> just so that it matches. That I think I'm done here. was the joke. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. That was that was the joke. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? <laughs> Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Now, 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 now. <laughs> Take me to Mount Splashmore right now. But where do I go? Uh, yeah, okay. What are we doing? <laughs> Spectre business. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. An hour here is better than a year on leave. Bruh. If only I could afford to come more often. No questions now. God. I'm trying to relax. You want to smoke? Yo, the reviews are through the roof. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Please, relax and enjoy yourself. The only thing worse than you being a psycho is you being a psycho with a boner. <laughs> Human military? You'll enjoy it here. I'm here Please for officer. peace, Wooly. This is a place of peacekeeping peace. mission. Yes. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Oh, you came right on time. Hey. I'd spend all day here if I could. They don't mind the smell of ammonia. Mm hmm Isn't this place terrific? They do many things for many different Kalayans. This is the most relaxed I've been in days. And different needs. Mm -hmm. That's what's been advertised. USB-C, USB uh -huh. lightning plugs, we got the classic, we got the B, we got a fucking a memstick duo port down there. We got, we got all kinds of compatibility. <laughs> Damn, is that a VGA plug? Wow. DVI <laughs> to VGA? DVI? Oh my god. <laughs> You're with the Alliance. Wow. My brother's a private back on Earth. The concert is a zip drives. Effect. Really? She you still take zip drive? That's crazy. You're with the Alliance. My brother's a private back on Earth. Is that a fucking printer port, bro? <laughs> wow. They got it all. Everything. Oh shit! I gotta walk cool. Like the launch PS3 that never launched. Yep. Nice and cool. There you go. Yep. Oh yeah, smooth. That is close enough, Commander. <laughs> I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here. Back up! Back <laughs> up! <laughs> Fucking biotic push. <laughs> I was just stretching. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients, but that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay, I'll, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll see what I can do. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Get pheromoned. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay, but you didn't earn my respect yet. You know? 
have two heads that you need to charm. Please, Commander. I ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with Septimus. Yeah, okay, well, I don't like the way she just got close to me like that. Let's go. Guess we'll go talk to the Duke. Yo, that was... I just feel dirty. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many I just want to get out of here. Okay. I went very often, but so what's next? Uh, how about we uh C sec? Yeah, main main quest, central elevator and the C sec academy. You see, you see, the tightrope is a balancing act <laughs> that requires a delicate footing. <laughs> Delicate, you say. A delicate pudding. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, that was too close. All right. That was too close. All right. Let's uh. Yeah. Let's keep it on the. See a second. On the up and up. On the up and up. Um. Seems like all the best lounge. Krogan statue. Oh, the big one in the middle. Mm hmm What about it? Head down in front of it. Oh, please tell me, uh, let me go down. Thank you. Thank you. Reggie's so pure and innocent. We need to protect huh. his smile. <laughs> Is this a setup? Did you, did you set me up? Are you setting me up? You're trying to expose me to the world? I, a, no, you I'll are just, in I'll control of your own I'll stop, words, I'll stop Reggie. talking right now. These, every, the image that is created is based on chiseling it out not unlike this statue right here you have a block of marble and people see what they want to see as they chisel it out and the more they chisel the more it detailed it becomes some people like it nice and blurry <laughs> mosaic right oh. okay. welcome to presidium tourism terminal 3 <laughs> Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. Okay. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. Our eyes are cool. For a full century, the council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. <laughs> so who's going to stop the Turians? Right. I am sorry. Oh, that's true, that she's useless. Is beyond my Virtual AI, priorities. not the not actual. Of the Citadel Council, they are not a threat to galactic peace. My virtual virtual AI is virtual like VI is VI. dangerous. Sorry, it's dangerous. So hard to keep mm. the statue. The Krogan were instrumental in, in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellion. I guess. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. No, that's cool. I'm going to be so harsh about the, it. The statue of the of the, the people that then rebelled is creating some tensions, you say. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stir any more shit. Yeah. What were the Didn't see that one coming. Nearly 2200 years ago, Whoa. explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. 
a highly intelligent and aggressive Put it in a museum! The Rakmai unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rakni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Damn. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rakni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. You're setting me up. Stop asking questions to the VI. Stop asking Wikipedia for its opinion. Jeez. It's not my fault. It's like, just click there. It's like, oh, this is a stub article. We need more information. Like, Citation okay. needed. Jeez. All right, all right. That's all for now. Click on the talk Thank page and see what they say. Have a pleasant day. If you want to see the squabble. Thank you, Avina. Th 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 this one believes the statue should exist in a museum and not out in public. So yeah. Yeah, Rex just like sitting quiet in the background oh, of that shit. conversation too. Yeah. Chillin. Chillin. Calm. Relaxing. Wake me when this is over. <laughs> I get the feeling they're not used to seeing Krogan walking around up here. Guess not, eh? I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? Yeah, go for a dip. But yeah, no, like... Uh, super fucked up... Uh, well, not geopolitical, but geopolitical crisis. Yo. And, um... The, the solution... Uh being one that is questionable introduce a new species but, but uh uh no 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 just like the but like i'm just after all that shit goes down the council puts a statue with some water spouts and goes look that's good enough <laughs> here we go never Di forget diplomatic relations never forget big gestures big ri big ceremony with the cutting of the ribbon and everything you know Oh my gosh. So Rachni were a problem, bring in the Krogan. Krogan are a problem. Bring in the bring Turians. In the Turian. Zip zap, zubidi doob up. And I'll Saren's an asshole who's on his case. Here comes the human. Let's go. It never ends. It never ends. Okay, wait. Let's go for the codex stuff. Extinct races. And for the love of God. Oh, what was new? Uh, the Rachni. Oh, one. yeah. No, I was just going to say, and for the love of God. Whatever you do, keep them the fuck off the council. Don't give them any power. Though now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every species in Citadel space. Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown yeah. system. Yeah. And encountered something never seen before or since. A species of spacefaring uh -oh. insects. Guided by a hive mind intelligence. Big Zerg. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the Rachni were not peaceful, and the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. The emergence of the Krogan ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs and reclaim conquered council worlds. Damn. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their homeworld, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan eradicated them from the galaxy. Yeah, so, like, the tech exists to go far and fucking wide as far as the Protheans created the relays, but... You don't know what's behind right. that door. Activate a relay? Do you oh. want to open that and find out? It might be, like, how much do you believe in your firepower? Man, that was terrible. Yeah, you. how much do you believe in your firepower? You think you can handle it? Okay, open your open the door if your name is bad. You know? Peek your, peek your head inside and see what's waiting. You know? That's the, that's the, that's the interesting, th like, like, uh, 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 thing is, like, the exploration into the unknown has been done you know it's just it's waiting for you if you want to turn that on and see what happens or we can just you know 
uh, not allow multiple existential threats to all of our fucking races and just exist here within this space and, you know, chill for now. But no, we gotta explore and discover. And <laughs> yeah, flip the switch. <laughs> Here comes Daredevil! <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Krogan Rebellions. After the Rackney War, the quick-breeding Krogan expanded at the expense of their neighbors. Warlords leveraged their veteran soldiers to seize living space while their council races were still grateful. Over centuries, the Krogan conquered world after world. There was always just one more needed. When the council finally demanded withdrawal from the Asari colony of Luzia, Krogan overlord Kredak stormed off the citadel, daring the council to take their worlds back. But the council had taken precautions. The finest STG operators and Asari huntresses had been drafted into a covert observation force, the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. The Spectres opened the war with crippling strategic strikes. Krogan planets went dark as computer viruses floated the extranet. Sabotaged antimatter refineries disappeared in blue-white annihilation. Headquarters stations shattered into orbit-clogging debris ran by pre-placed suicide freighters. Still, this only delayed the inevitable. The war would have been lost if not for first contact with the Turians, who responded to Krogan threats with a prompt declaration of war. Being on the far side of Krogan's space from the Council, the Turian advanced rapidly into lightly defended Krogan rear areas. The Krogan responded by dropping space stations on, and asteroids on Turian colonies. Three worlds were rendered completely uninhabitable. This was precisely the wrong approach to take with the Turians. Each is first and foremost a public servant, willing to risk his life to protect his comrades. Rather than increasing public war wariness, Krogan tactics stiffened Turian resolve. The resolve. The arrival of Turian task forces saved many worlds from the warlords' ma marauding fleets, but it took development of the genophage bioweapon to end the war. There were decades of unrest afterwards. Rogue warlords and holdout groups of insurgents refused to surrender or disappeared into the frontier systems to become pirates. So just for the record, if you scroll up a bit there, the, like, I don't think you, so you haven't seen any Gundam, right? But like the crux of multiple uh, sh Gundam stories is the space people are fed up and are like, fuck this. We're dropping a colony on your planet, right? We're gonna, we're gonna, that we're the ultimate thing we can do is just drop a colony, right, from orbit to threaten Earth, and uh, that is usually like high stakes enough for the for the the situation to be uh, uh, like all about that and the fallout of that or how to stop that from happening, and in this case, it's like nope, that still was not enough. We dropped colonies and we completely yeah. destroyed three worlds and we still had to go further. So it came down to fucking literally making them one viable baby in a thousand because otherwise they just wouldn't stop. And as much as you needed them beforehand, that out that was the, 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 the rate at which they could just continue to pump them out and, and destroy, like it was, yeah, it's crazy. It's it's a totally fucked up like okay so we're gonna wipe you out but not completely but not completely right it, it's 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 a, a, a hair's breadth away from actual complete uh, 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 genocide it, yeah. it is it is one in a thousand can still be born your race can continue to exist but under this level of sterilization and control. You know, one in one thousand. It's like, I hope there are a lot of you. I mean, Even there are. Then, the like, idea being that oh, with their long lifespans, because they also live for like fucking hundreds, if not I, what the lifespan. I think it might be like a thousand ago or so. So it's like over that period of time, it is a massive degradation. But they still can continue to exist. Uh, just it is. It is a slow, a slow. Yeah cleanse you know uh that's crazy super fucked 
super fucked. Asari Consort. Speak with General Septimus in Korra's Den. He's salty. Alright. One thing at a time. Seasec Academy. Yeah. Central Elevator. 